it's a terrific Thursday, everyone. Um, I'm kind of running out of good adjectives, and now I'm getting my days all mixed up. Anyway, it's Thursday, and welcome back to another day of class. Uh, so I've been getting some emails uh, asking about abstracts and some clarification on that, so let's start with that today. Your abstract is effectively broken down into four parts. An abstract always introduces the general idea of your paper or your topic. For us, that's just career research and future planning. And then it introduces the most specific parts of that. For us, if you were in a general English class, those are the two things that you researched earlier. If you're in an honors class, those are the three things that you researched earlier. The next thing that an abstract does is it introduces your methods of research. We all use the same method of research. We all went in and we researched via digital resource collection from the internet. We used internet sources to gather digital media. The, any variation on that is acceptable. And finally, you tell us exactly what you acquired, all right? What you found, where you're going, what does your paper do? You can just say, this paper does this. This paper analyzes two career paths and asserts which of those paths is the best fit for me in my future. Done. Because, of course, your abstract doesn't need to be anything over 200 words. It can be less than that, around 150 to 200, and you're, you're golden, all right? Don't worry about keywords or whatever. And, of course, remember that even though an abstract is typically written at the very end of a paper um, and then put in last, we're writing it first as just a way for us to format where we're headed, get words down on the page, so that way it might be a little bit easier to start with our introduction today. Going off of that, today our introduction is where we're starting. Um, again, this is kind of just a words on the page type of deal. We all know the good elements of intro an introduction, but uh, we'll go over them now. An introduction will always, uh, again, start with the general ideas of the paper, and then we will slowly start to narrow down to our thesis. Think about an upside down triangle with the fat end on top, and then it narrows down um, like this. Um, and in that, we start with our most general ideas, and we slowly narrow down for the reader to get to the, uh, to the thesis. And our thesis is effectively saying, I'm going to go into career X because it gives me the lifestyle that I want to lead. And then we will spend the rest of the paper talking about the specific details that we uh, got from our research. So um, cost of living or academic costs uh, for tuition. We'll be talking about working hours and pay. We will be talking about job descriptions and all that stuff. In fact, your job description should be in your introduction. Go back and look at the new rubric that I posted. It tells you exactly what I want in the introduction. So just find a way to incorporate all those and again, get words on the page because we can't go back and revise and make things better unless you get words on the page. Again, if you have not submitted the abstract work from yesterday, please do so today so I can give you uh, content work. Um, you'll notice that maybe some of your grades in the gradebook for your content check are like Maven incorrect, and that's because the primary way for me to judge uh, whether or not you were um, watching the videos and participating uh, throughout the day is to um, read those short answer questions and those are the content checks. But if you were not able to get onto Maven yesterday, then I can still give you credit by working with the abstract today and from that uh, submission on Classroom. Um, so that just, uh, you'll still get a late grade. It'll probably be about a five in the grade book. It'll be half the credit because it's late. Um, as opposed to just incorrect where I can maybe, you know, give you a little wiggle room there because maybe you were confused, not paying attention, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, goal for the day, finish your abstract work. Goal two for the day, get writing and write your introduction. Introduction isn't probably going to be too terribly long, and we know exactly what's going to be in our introduction because it is already written out for you in the rubric. So get those two things done today. You will not have to turn this in today but you will have to turn some work into me tomorrow. Have a good rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you soon. The I can statements and objectives for today are I can research and organize information in a logical manner, and I can determine the use of words in a context.